Trump, in his infinite wisdom, or, you know, infinite stupidity, during a press briefing, he made comments suggesting that people inject cleaning products into their body to combat the coronavirus. Now, since then, cleaning companies, uh, Poison Control Center, uh, everyone has been uh, trying to discourage people from taking the actions that this president so foolishly suggested. Now they're saying uh, the Poison Center, Poison Control Center in New York is saying that there are 30 cases of possible exposure to disinfectants between Thursday and Friday of last week, which came after Trump made the comments. Trump often talks and brags that he's so smart, that he's a stable genius. But clearly, comments like this and others prove that he is not smart at all. Unfortunately, people around this country and around the world take statements made by the president, even this president, serious when he may not. Governors Larry Hogan of Maryland, Governor Gretchen Whitmore of Michigan said today that they want the president to focus more on the facts. His comments that disinfectants could potentially be injected as a remedy for this caused a surge in phone calls to emergency hotlines. A president, someone who's in control of the country, arguably the most powerful man in the world, any little thing that pops in your head, you can't just say it out your mouth. As a adult, we learn these things, right? The president is putting people's lives in danger. Yes, I don't listen or, or take seriously what he says, but there are many people around this country that take what President Trump says as being true statements. And typical fashion, Trump tried to spin it, act like he was joking. Clearly, he was not. And you have people, part of the task force, supposedly respected doctors spinning and carrying water for the president. It is appalling and it is pathetic.